Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to try something a little bit different. I have, or I had, three broken bridge rectifiers from several different storm responder generators. And this right here um, is a pretty simple setup. It's just brushes attached to a bridge rectifier. This one actually, you might remember from a previous video, it was missing a diode. So I just harvested a diode from this board here, which had the blown up capacitor or varistor. And I just took a couple diodes off and put one on here. And this one should be as good as new. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this other set of brushes. This one actually isn't missing a diode but one of the diodes is bad. So I'm gonna run some tests real quick. I actually forget which diode is bad. And once we figure out which one it is, we'll get that diode out and put a new, well not new, a used uh, diode that works. And then to get these diodes off, I tried to get fancy with this solder sucker, but I gotta say this thing sucks. It is not the name brand that it looks to be. It's just a clone and it does not work well. So instead, I'm just gonna heat up the solder here. We'll just gently pry the component off and we'll repeat that for the other. So this has a bad diode. I'm not sure which one it is offhand, so I'm gonna test them all. Uh, in order to do that, you do need to use a multimeter set to do a diode test. And the way it works is the diode has a stripe on one side. You wanna use the negative lead on that side. And you should see a voltage drop of about like 0.6. In this case, it's 0.56, so that, that's fine. If we reverse it, we should just see that it's open and it is. So that diode is good. We'll check the next one here. Should be 0.56 like this. And of course the light shuts off. Let's turn that back on. 0.56, that is good. And this should just be open and it is. So that is a good diode. Next, we'll check this one. This should be open, but it's not. So this diode's bad for sure. Try reversing it. Yeah, that one's bad, has to be replaced. Then this one, let's see, should be 0.56 and it's not. So we've actually got two bad diodes on here. So that's fine. I've got three extra diodes. We'll just get these two off and put two good ones in.
So theoretically, that's it. We now have two good sets of brushes and bridge rectifiers. And to test it, actually, before putting it on the machine, again, you just want to have the multimeter into the diode setting. And the way it works is that the brush with the tab is always positive, and the one here without the tab is negative. So it's AC going in, so no matter how you hook up the power, it should be positive and negative. In this case, we'll test both these terminals. And negative should only be on this brush. And it is, but not on that one. And you're going to test the other terminal. Same thing, negative should work here, but not there. And if you reverse these leads, do the same test, except now we should get a signal here on the positive brush, which we do. Nothing on the negative. And same here. So I've already tested the other set. I know they're both good. So not too bad. You know, we had started off with three bad sets of brushes. We now have two good. Anyway, hope this video helps someone. Thanks for watching.